Welcome, I am Paddington Bear, and this is 15 Letters of the Color Purple. What? Wait, I got that wrong. I'm Gazbot, and this is 100 Days of Making Comics, Day 92. See how I just I come right back, I'm up here on stage, and I, I make a little flub, and then I just turn it around, get it back on track. Chugga chugga chugga. What? That, that went somewhere. Anyway, today, uh, I... Thought it was going to be a bad day work-wise, but ended up being okay. I thought it was going to be bad because I got up early, but while I got up early, it was because I had to take Q to work to, so I could have the car. So whenever I take her to work, that's like an hour wasted right there, because a half hour there and back, not including anything that happens in between. So then I got back, had a little bit of breakfast, started working, but I had to spend a lot of time... Uh, well, I didn't have to, but I decided to spend a lot of time editing videos for the Kakaida piece I did uh, for Peter Palmiotti's fundraiser. Uh, and I'll put a link in the show notes to his uh, funding page and also the eBay auction, which is now live. Um, and if you watched the video last time, those links are now live too. And I'll put all, all the links, all this I'm talking about in the show notes. Um, but I did a process video of making it. Uh, in the hopes that maybe that might generate some more interest. Everywhere I posted it, I put, hey, here's a process video. And I did one long one where I did all the inks in color and kind of talked to the camera about what I was doing and kind of lost my mind a little bit at points. I know that's hard to believe because I'm such an even-keeled fellow. Um, and then I did a speed one where, you know, the hour and 45 minutes is like two minutes to go. Um, so it took a little while to put those together. Not that there was a ton of editing, but the uploading and the processing was taking a long time. And I was nervous to be like working on Photoshop at the same time. So uh, then I took the piece down to FedEx to get scanned because I thought, well, you know, I'll have a good digital copy for myself. Maybe I'll take that as a basis and readjust it, turn it into a print. Maybe I'll just have it, whatever, but better to have a copy, you know, an archival copy for myself for whatever reason. Um, so my work day started kind of late. I mean, like, again, that was like work-related stuff. It was partially, you know, helping Peter out, but it's partially helping myself. I had to put more content on my YouTube channel and everything like that. So then... Um, Around the time I was kind of starting work, getting uh, coloring done on the Earthling, I had to take my cat to the doctor, which is actually why I had the car to begin with. Uh, and again, that was a half hour to the doctor, and I was there for about an hour, and then I had, you know, so I lost more and more time. Got back, uh, worked on the Earthling while uh, I did a, a chat, a Skype chat with some of the other art fellows, including Mr. Palmiotti and uh, Kevin Cross and a bunch of those guys. Um, and that was cool, and I didn't quite finish that page. I came really close, but then... Uh, I got off at like 11.30 and I'm like, wow, I haven't even started my work on the horror or anything like that. And so when I sat down to work, it was like close to 12 by that point, uh, on the horror that is, my own project, the Horror Ray 4. Uh, and I thought I was going to wimp out and just do the 30 minutes, but I, I didn't quite do two hours, but I did like two hour, uh, hour 45 minutes. Um, I probably would have done two hours, but I basically finished up the panel I was working on and I just didn't have the uh, momentum to then start another panel, which I knew I would only put a few minutes in. So I did it an hour and 45 minutes, and I finished the sixth panel of the one, two, whatever, the, the last panel on the page. Not the last panel I have to do, because there's one more to do, but uh, the one I started yesterday. Anyway, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to show you where it started and where it ended. Uh, I once again did new gray stylings. Um, I didn't do any blending at all. I didn't do any softening of edges. Um, but I did, I think, use like four shades of gray and, and then one shade of white over it. So it might be a bit too much, but I'm more and more going with the idea of regardless how many layers or shades I use, I don't think I want to use any blending. I don't think I want to use any softening of edges with eraser, which I sometimes do. It's just going to be straight, you know, again, as if it was an X-Acto knife cutting it or, you know, close to that approximation digitally. Anyway, I'll throw those up here. Go! God. Okay, so there's that. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I, I'm happy that I put in as much time as I did. Uh, and then, hopefully, I don't know if I'll... Uh, the next panel is one of the more complicated ones, so even if I put in two hours tomorrow, I don't know if I'll be able to get it done. I'll certainly get it done 
uh, in the next couple days, certainly before the end of the 100 days. Once again, I'm glad I decided to go ahead and work on this page rather than push forward more and leave this till the end because uh, it's clearly taking me longer than I thought, just like almost everything in this project. So I've learned one thing, well, I've learned many things, but one of the things I've learned is that everything takes longer than I think it will. Um, so uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was, uh, it's not a big deal thing, but uh, a while back I was, uh, I think Scott Circlin was talking about when he was doing his 100 days, at a certain point he was like, you know, 15 days from the end or something like that, and he's like, oh, if I could get like 100 subscribers by the end, that'd be great. And I, you know, have been watching my numbers go up because I started with zero. I started this channel new, uh, and I think I have about 60 now, which isn't a lot, but considering I had zero, that is a lot, you know, and I appreciate every single one of you people that subscribe, and even the people that just watch or like or comment and don't subscribe. Uh, the fact that anyone pays me any attention at all is a... A, a mitzvah. Uh, I don't think I'm using that term correctly, but anyway, <laughs> I appreciate it. But but uh, I did notice the numbers going up, and every now and then I check and see I got a few more, and it was sort of a steady, you know, more or less steady increase of a person or two every couple of days, and then it seemed to hit like 59 and sort of hang there for a while. And this is right around when I saw Scott say that, so it made me even more keenly aware, like that would be cool to hit 100, you know, by the time I'm done, it's like a person a day, um, and it hung at like 59 for a while. And then it went to 60, and I'm like, cool. And then it went down to 59. I'm like, what? And that happened twice. And once, way earlier on, I had lost a subscriber too. So two or three people uh, subscribed to my channel, presumably watched a video or two, and they were like, no, unsubscribe. And, well, that doesn't particularly offend me. I'm not for everyone. Fine, whatever. Uh, it's weird to me because I, I, I wouldn't... Why did they subscribe to begin with? Like, if they, if they hadn't watched anything I had done, and they're just like, oh, here's a person, subscribe immediately. And then they watch some things, like, oh, this is terrible. But, like, then why subscribe? Like, I usually don't people watch a video or two, decide they like it, and then subscribe, or at least one video, you know. And, uh, and if they watch one of my older videos, you know, I would like to think they get better, whatever. Um, but the other thing is, like, pretty much everybody who subscribes to me, and if you're watching and you want some subscribers, here's, you know, what, what you can get mine. Pretty much everybody that subscribes to my channel, when I notice that and get that notification, I subscribe to them. Now, some people have it so you can't see, you know, it says a number, like, I, it says I have 60 subscribers, but I think only, like, 50 show up because some of them hide it, so I can't help them. But anybody that visibly subscribes to me, I subscribe back. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to watch all their videos. That doesn't mean, you, you know, like, I'm not following them necessarily. I might watch one video and check them out. I might not, depending on how much time I have. But I just figure, well, hey, they're giving me a number. I'll give them a number. It doesn't hurt me. It doesn't take anything away from me. And I have so many subscriptions now that it's not like I'm looking at the next one up. I go searching for you know, something specific, or I open it up if I'm looking for something random, see what's in my subscriptions, but none of them, unless they posted something horribly offensive or did something terrible, uh, am I going to bother to unsubscribe? Even if, like, a lot of people subscribe to have no videos. They're just, they're just viewers, but whatever. Maybe they'll put up a video one day. Uh, and, you know, and some people, you know, I may not, just not be interested in the content they have. Not that it's bad or whatever. Um, but I'm like, yeah, well, leave the subscribe on there. Why would I take it off? So it just seems like a... And it seems like I'm very offended and hurt emotionally, but really I'm not. This is very, it's very intellectual, trying to understand how other people think, which is something I do a lot, and I'm really not that good at it. <laughs> I really try to understand how other people think, uh, and, and, and sometimes I, I get it, but, but often I don't. And in cases like this, I'm like, I just, I, put, I try to put myself in their position, and I can't imagine why you'd subscribe and then unsubscribe. You know, maybe there's an explanation I don't know. Maybe one of you out there knows. Maybe one of you is about to unsubscribe. And if you are, good, fair enough. Tell me why. I mean, it, it, even if it's you're like, well, you're annoying. Oh, okay, I get that, you know, but it took you 90 videos to figure that out. Or maybe this is your first one. But then why did you subscribe before you watched it, you know? <laughs> so, so like, give me some information and, and my heart will not be hurt. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm going to call it a day. It's, it's pretty late. It's almost 4 in the morning. <laughs> anyway, oh, the thing in the beginning, by the way, is old. Um, I was talking about this recently about wanting some B-roll. Um, you know, sometimes I, I go out and do something during the day or something funny happens or, or I just like the way my cats look. And, you know, so I put something in the beginning to break it up and whatever. But sometimes I don't have anything. Like right now I have not filmed anything to go in the beginning or the end. So all I have is this and the, the pictures I threw up. Blech. No, but... 
Uh, but I was going through some stuff and I found this old video clip uh, from when I used to work uh, at Spec Studios in New York, was an animation company, and I mostly did like flash animation, but they did all kinds of multimedia stuff for you know MTV and that kind of stuff. And that was something they were testing out a motion design on a shirt, and they just needed me to model just to you know move around and do it so they could just practice it. And then like oh here you can have the file, and nothing was ever done with it. It was never aired. It was never it maybe it was shown to a client like as a proof of concept. Um, but I was like, this is a weird thing from like, I don't know, eight years ago, me wearing a rainbow shirt, walking around, and I thought it'd be a fun intro. So that's what that is, in case you were wondering. And if you weren't wondering, it's still what that was. What it is. What it is, and what it was, and what it will be. We are Siamese, if you please, and we are Siamese if you don't please. It's an objective fact that your opinion doesn't alter. Today is 92, and that means... Well, you know, I'd like to say we got eight days left. So I think I will. We got eight days left. And we got 92 days right. <sighs>